Hello and welcome to Mobility Mastery Monday. I'm Alicia and this is the place to be if you want to lose the pain, lose your fear of pain, learn to trust your body, and do what you love for life. Do you get headaches frequently? Are you on the computer a lot for work? What about your phone? How many hours a day are you on your phone? Not you, right? <laughs> Chances are, if you have done any of the things I just talked about, that your eyeball fascia is tight. <laughs> Yep, you heard me right. So I'm actually going to show you today how to release your eyeball fascia. And I really hope you laugh at me because this is probably going to be a funny one. And I also hope you're willing to try this and then laugh at yourself. Because I got to tell you, it actually works amazingly well for headaches that show up right around here or here and the top of the head. Even if you don't get headaches that often, chances are your eyes are probably experiencing some form of strain because of the number of hours we all spend on the computer, but especially our cell phones. According to a 2015 report from the Vision Council, about 61% of all Americans experience eye strain after prolonged use of electronic device. Now that's two out of every three people. If you work on a computer and check your phone a lot, then you're probably even more at risk of eye strain and thus headaches that result from that. And there may actually be a surprising connection between how we use our eyes in certain other life experiences and how it relates back to maybe getting a headache. Now, this is actually something that happened to me that led to me figuring out that this technique actually works because uh, just a couple days ago, I was up in the mountains, and it's winter here in Colorado, and I was with girlfriends, and we went to the hot springs, which was amazing, but it meant we had to drive through kind of snowy conditions both on the way there and on the way back, and I hate driving in winter conditions. It totally stresses me out, so I have a feeling even though I was like doing a pretty good job of breathing and trying to just be mentally okay with it, that my eyes were like really checking out the road and totally on alert the whole time, especially on the drive home. So I ended up getting a little bit of a headache on the drive home after going to the hot springs and I thought like, well maybe it's dehydration from the hot springs because that can happen. But I'd been guzzling water like crazy the whole way there, the whole time I was in the hot springs and after. So I kind of ruled that out. And I got home pretty late at night, um, took us four hours of driving through some rather harrowing conditions to get home, crashed, and then woke up the next morning feeling like someone had like hit me on the head really hard to knock me out. And I kind of jumped out of bed in a like staggering stupor and had an even worse headache than the night before, which is really pretty rare for me. So I knew there had to be something else going on and I didn't really think it had anything to do with dehydration. Now, instinctively, I don't necessarily know what told me to do this, but I started just kind of feeling my eyes because um, this headache was basically all over here and on the top of my head. And I noticed that when I would press into my eyes, they were really sore, like really tender, the kind of sore that is usually indicative of restricted or tight fascia. So I just tried to release that fascia as best I could and my headache went away instantly. And I have never had that happen. I've never been able to get rid of a headache instantaneously like that. So it's pretty cool, it's a little weird, but it works. So if you're doing something pretty eye intensive, either for a career or in your hobbies, or maybe you have to drive a lot for work to and from, or maybe you drive for a living and you get headaches, then chances are it has something to do with your eyes and your eyeball fascia. So definitely give this a try. And even if you don't get headaches, do give this a try anyway because you might be surprised. If you find something sore there, then it definitely needs to be released and you might just experience a little more freedom and spaciousness around your eyeballs and that precious noggin of yours. Okay, so this is going to get slightly weird and again, feel free to laugh at me and then laugh at yourself as you do it. What you're trying to do here is you're going to take maybe both index fingers or index and middle finger to pin your eyelids and the eyelid fascia to your eyeball very gently, okay? This is not an aggressive technique and it doesn't require much um, you know, pressure or weight put on there to actually get a good pin. So do not poke into your eye. Um, and then you're gonna be lifting your eyebrows and 
rolling your eyes around. Um, the fascia that we're actually targeting here is the fascia at the back of the eyeball. <laughs> um, and then, of course, any of the small, tiny muscles around the eyes that um, help us focus and move the eye. So first thing, obviously, I'm going to close my eyes and then take two fingers. Now, you might want to feel around um, first. If you feel soreness, then this definitely needs to be done on you, whether or not you're someone who gets headaches. Um, if there's nothing here, like no soreness, and you're feeling around, you may not actually need this. Um, but chances are you're going to find some soreness there. So that's actually what you're looking for, and that's what you're going to try to release. Um, you can gently kind of push in, gently, to the back of the eyeball. <laughs> so between the eyeball and basically like the bone here uh, that makes up your eyebrow. And then, so then I'm going to lift my eyebrows and I might even get some other face muscles involved, but the predominant motion here is going to be lifting the eyebrows and then rolling the eyelids around. So you want to, you could maybe try to do circles. If you go one way, make sure to go the other way. Um, and maybe do that for about, I don't know, 20 to 30 seconds. Open your eyes, see how it feels, let them readjust. It's going to be a little bit of an adjustment period there, the first seconds that you get off. And then you might need to actually go back in and, and do it again, maybe two to three more times. So you might notice actually that one eyeball might feel more sore than the other one. And if that's true, you're going to want to do that one a little bit more. So you might not, not need to do them both equally, or you might. Um, so the purpose of this actually is just to get rid of that sore feeling and for me what happened was as soon as that headache went away my eyeballs no longer felt sore so there was a definite correlation there. So if you have eye strain and your fascia is tight in your eyeballs and it's making your head ache, <laughs> all you really need to do is take care of that soreness and it should go away. If it doesn't then your headache may be due to something else. Now while doing this technique can help after you've already gotten a headache, in an ideal world, you wouldn't get one to begin with, right? So if you want to take care of your eyes uh, in such a way that you don't get eye strain and thus don't get headaches from eye strain, if you work on a computer or you're on a phone a lot, just make sure to look up every 20 minutes or so and focus on something in the distance, give your eyes a rest. Doing this allows them to blink more. We tend to not blink as much when we're looking at a, an electronic device, whether it's a computer or a phone. And my personal favorite piece of advice here is go outside more. Gaze on nature, take in natural light. These things are so good, not only for our eyes, but our bodies and our souls. So I'd love to hear from you if you're someone who gets headaches a lot and you tend to think you have eye strain from being on the computer or your phone a lot. Did you try this? What happened? Did it work? Are your eyeballs actually sore? I know this is kind of a weird one, but it really worked magic for me and I'm hoping it does for you as well. Now, if you know of anyone struggling with eye strain or headaches, then pass this along. It might just be super helpful for them. If you want new episodes emailed to your inbox every week, you can sign up for our free newsletter at mobilitymastery.com. And of course you can subscribe here on YouTube as well. As always, I hope you're learning to trust your body so you can adventure through life with confidence.